Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. This is a video response to a comment left on a support group. About a week ago, I posed a question, what has been the hardest or most challenging hurdle to overcome in healing from narcissistic abuse? And someone said, feeling like I wasn't good enough for the narcissist. So I've seen a few other people co-signing that and I've heard this a lot in the coaching sessions. So I definitely want to address that because I don't want anyone to be feeling like they weren't good enough for a narcissist. So let's go ahead and just think about that comment. I wasn't good enough for a narcissist. That person is speaking out of their emotions first and foremost. All right. Because when we logically think about what a narcissist is, you know, a liar, a cheat, a manipulator, an abuser, someone that doesn't have empathy. So if you don't feel like you're good enough for a narcissist, and this was the exact statement, you were willing to actually label the person as a narcissist and say you're not good enough for them. This person has been heavily beat down, either you know from that relationship, from a string of relationship, from childhood to now. Their self-esteem and their self-confidence has been um, cracked severely there's severe cracks in the foundations of that or basically non-existence all right this speaks to a person who's getting their self-esteem and their self-worth from their external environment but the word self is in front of these phrases because the self is supposed to define that but if you don't have the appropriate shield you don't know how to go about doing that. You're going to look for other people to do it, other imperfect people. And then in this case, imperfect and toxic. On top of that, someone who doesn't even love you or care about you or have your best interest in mind. All right. The other aspect that I want to say about this is when you say you weren't good enough for the narcissist, I can automatically simultaneously Assume that you're not good enough for yourself. You're not good enough for the narcissist. You're not good enough for yourself. Because a person that is feeling down and out about not being good enough for a narcissist is already feeling down and out about not being good enough for themselves. And this could be for many reasons, of course, but usually stemming from external reinforcements of saying this about yourself and then attaching to that and making that your truth. And let's just say this as well. I mean, let's think about that. I wasn't good enough for a narcissist. It's actually the opposite. And, you know, narcissists have this sneaky manip manipulative way of getting us to think we're not good enough for them when it's actually them who weren't good enough for us. And it sounds like you fell for that manipulation as well. And then at the end of the day, when we're at the height end of our emotional maturity and we're looking at the biggest picture of the situation, I don't want to be good enough for a narcissist because it actually means something else to be good for them. Let's think about their definition of good. What's a good person to the narcissist? A person with no boundaries, a person with no standards, a person they can run all over and just use and abuse and come back when they feel like come and go. A person that's completely at their mercy, a person who's let go of their individuality that don't have self-confidence and self-esteem. And, and the list just goes on and on. So it's a compliment. To not be good enough for a narcissist. It's a compliment. <laughs> but you know, sometimes when we're in such a weakened, fragile state, we're unable to see things with that kind of clarity because we're still too much in the energy and their energy to be more specific and the negativity and all the horrible things that they've said. All right. So hopefully, you know, this is helping that young lady and anyone else who's like, I didn't feel good enough for the narcissist. Good. That's a good thing. You never want to feel good enough for them. <laughs> Not in their perspective. You're too good for them. You're actually too good for them. 
All right, so no more gaslighting yourself, all right? So if this video resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Over, what, 650 videos here to help increase your emotional maturity, all right? Check the description for everything that I have going on. If you want private one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, you can go to my website, LakiaCrawford.com. And, um, you know, I have all types of packages, half an hour sessions, hour sessions, voice calls, FaceTimes, Skypes, WhatsApp, um, email coaching, because writing is very therapeutic. So a lot of things you could take advantage of, you know, when your self-esteem and everything is so shattered, you know, you're going to have a toxic outlook on things and it's going to tell you a bunch of lies. All right. But there are remedies for this, all right? And you can seek the wise counsel to help you work through these things, all right? So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, never give up on yourself, of course. Continue to do the work. And until next time, please take care.